All right, we're back. Back to the surface of the Mars. Argent facility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do like that you go inside and outside. Yeah. Using the tower to drill a doorway into their world. You can prevent her from opening the gate by disabling the tower induction filters. Yeah, and speaking of environments, that was one of the most consistent pieces of criticism that this game got. That basically there is tech base, Martian surface, and hell, and that's about it in terms of environmental variety. Mm hmm Especially in the later part of the game, you're mostly just bopping between uh, tech base and hell back and forth. Yeah. And that's something that Doom Eternal very much addressed. There are, right. There's a lot of environmental variety. I'm okay with it not having a ton of variety if it does it well. Much like how Mario Sunshine is like, yeah, everywhere is technically on this island, but we're going to squeeze every drop of character out of that island. Yeah, for, for a game that has limited environmental variety, they do it quite well. Each area does feel more or less distinct. If you were to take a screenshot, I would probably be able to tell you which level it was from. Mm -hmm. But having more is in Eternal is really good. Oh, yeah. It's probably why the levels are longer, because they wanted to make sure they used each environment as much as they could to get their money's worth. So I, I think I might have mentioned this before, but I try to um, always bring up the uh, challenge, the three challenges on this uh, map screen and show them off uh, at the start of the level. Sometimes I forget, though. Ah, this is one might, of my... Might not do it until later, might not do it at all. This is one of my favorite runes. Vacuum? Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty handy. I, I, I regard uh, Vacuum as just the first one. As soon as I can use something else, I do. I, and I actually don't find it that useful. Ah. Not compared to other things. I guess it just made me able to not think about getting ammo as much. Or, well, any pickups, really. Although there's a pretty good yeah, draw. Um, oh, yep. yeah. Uh, I was just going to say that uh, the secret to this one is figuring out the exact range where a blast will stagger them so you can mm. get a glory kill and get even more time back. Right. And my video player is not playing nice. VLC wasn't either, but I can deal with it. It's just being really annoying. Oh, well, that's that's Microsoft for you. Runes. Mm. I've seen that upside down star so much as a style of like shirt on some girls now that my brain just goes to that. <laughs> it's kind of funny how that got popular. Of what? Oh, it's like a it's like a strap style. I think it's one of the characters in Hell of a Boss. Oh. Where is it? Yeah, it like makes a oh, star okay. shape. Okay. Yeah, I I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. It's gotten pretty popular, probably be thanks to that show, which reminds me, I need to finally watch Has Been Hotel, the show I thought would never come out, and then it just did. Luckily, my brother has Amazon Prime, because he likes to watch The Boys, which surprised me. Didn't take him for the superhero type. I always remember this right here. Mm-hmm. When I first uh, got here, I was like, wow, that looks amazing. And I'm pretty sure that that right there is the beginnings of a new gore nest. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Like, that's the foundation of one, probably. Mm -hmm. And here we have Toxin Refinery, classic level. You know, now that I think about it, the um, constructs of the demons and whatnot... Um, the way they build stuff reminds me a lot of the Zerg from StarCraft, since a lot of their stuff is built out of biomass, but they don't use other creatures' biomass, they use their own, so a little different. I never could win a game. 
you and Steve I mean, and it, everyone it else takes, was just too good at the game. <laughs> I was guts or aggress to it, death. It takes it takes time. It takes practice. You yeah, know, I I've, didn't I didn't get good at it overnight. Yeah, I've never been good at chess, so I've just never had a head for. I mean, it's it's not even it's not even strategy in StarCraft. When you're starting out, it's just mechanics. If you can build more than the other guy, you win. That makes sense. The whole actions per minute thing. Well, even just like keeping your economy running, you know, yeah. making sure that you have enough uh, production facilities to match your income and that they're right. always running. And economies of scale. Oh, where are you going? Oh, don't go. Jump back. That's a handy it little way to show you where to go. Yeah. Yeah, it's got that bright green glow on him, and so you can see him going there, so you yeah. can follow him. Come back, diaper! Oh, hi, Ma! <laughs> Good old Barney Yeah, Gumball. so this is, this is another one of the uh, more open-ended levels. Mm -hmm. It actually took me a minute to figure out how I wanted to uh, path this level through um, so that it, I wasn't backtracking too much and wasn't wasting time. Mm-hmm. What's just the I'd say most levels oh, I had sorry. to, I had to attempt at least two, mm -hmm. make two attempts at recording. What does the UAC stand for again? United Aerospace Corporation. Ah. Just generic. And that dates space. all the way back to the original Doom. They had UAC stuff on textures. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I believe that without at this point where you only have the single jump, you actually can't jump high enough uh, to get an aerial glory kill on Hell Knights mm. unless you are, you know, on higher ground. Ooh. Ah, I love that one. That uh, that crate up there, my brain wanted me to, or it was like, shoot the thing to have it crush the guy, but nah. Ironically, that would be something we saw in Sly 2, which is kind of ridiculous to me that that game has such brutal violence under the filter of cartoony, like, looks to it. I guess, I guess that's what slapstick is, more or less. I mean, that's, that's cartoons. I... Itchy and scratchy is not as much of an exaggeration as you might think. I know, I know. My favorite, one of my favorite, ooh, here we go. I don't want to talk over this, it's really funny. We're only temporarily disabling the tower. You need to remove each lens individually. Carefully release the hinges. <laughs> No, but it sure is fun. I just love that, you know, he gave it his honest try of like, I don't know how to use this. So I destroyed it in a fit of rage. Ooh, that was very cool. Context sensitive. Yeah, um, there are a couple like that where it's it has to be near a wall. Yeah, the Cabadon of Death. I think I remember being around when Kabedon first was a thing. Like, I saw an article that was like, the new sensation sweeping Japan has, is starting to leak overseas, and it's Kabedon. How long ago was that? Because that was in Steven Universe for an episode, which, frankly, was shocking. Oh, I don't know. It could have been as much as, like, ten years ago. It could have been more like five or six. Yeah, to be fair... I think that might have just been Convergent Evolution. Yeah, Alright, let's get that new weapon mode. Yeah. It's games like this that make me think living on Mars is going to be miserable no matter what. 
I mean, the environment's just not, it's not hospitable. Good. The dust and alone is going to be a do nightmare. To try to, yeah, everything we do to try to make it hospitable is just a stopgap solution. Mm -hmm. And to fully terraform, it's going to take hundreds of years, potentially. Like, unless we make some massive jumps. Uh-oh. How did you... <sighs> okay, there's the death. I think I pressed the jump button just a teensy bit too late. Yeah, for a second it looked like you were going to live, but there was nowhere to go. Yeah, I just landed on a piece of geometry. <laughs> Anytime I see that in a game, I think of Metroid Prime. Because that game, half of its glitches rely on that stuff. To the exact... <laughs> To the uh, great uh, meme from Big Dip on a Bus's channel, getting the plasma beam early. He's like, So, how the F do I get up there? Well, if you guessed, jump on this rock and then jump on this other rock and then jump on this piece of metal sticking out of the wall, you'd be right. I can't believe he's going to be a part of the Vine Sauce charity stream. I'm so proud of him. He's come a long way. Oh. Yeah, cool. he, f he fell into a backward or like ass backwards because he's been working on the uh, like the last uh, B3313 mod now that the creators come back and wants to actually finish it. So he's going to be like doing a thing with Joel and maybe a thing with Simple Flip. So it's just funny to think all of the people I enjoy watching are coming together and I'm still here jealous. Nah, I have nothing to contribute. What am I saying? I like this very blue room. Yeah, it's nice. Is that the radioactive? Makes symbol? it feel very. Yeah. Uh, I think it is. Maybe I can't see it. Yeah, I it thought feels, I saw This it. feels like a cryogenics room. Yeah. Like it's pumping coolant somewhere. Yeah. Because if it is a radioactive room, I could the blue could be Cherenkov radiation. That cool. Blue oh yeah, blue. we always think of radiation as green. It's we should really be associating it with blue. Yeah, and that color only happens when light goes through water at a weird light effect. I see an invincibility sphere over there. I believe that's a haste sphere. Ah. Uh, also good. Half of the puzzle for me is always figuring out how to use the power up to its full effect because I was not so good at this game. I often forget that they're there. Mm hmm. So I was watching a video on how Nintendo keeps making game franchises with non-linear timelines, and how somebody pointed or they pointed out Kingdom Hearts of all of these things, they ha they're the ones with the linear timeline. Which I'm like, wow, that is ironic, considering how convoluted it feels. Linear sometimes. as in, it's a straight oh. line. Oh, here we go. So there's three, yeah, three of them. But yeah, basically, oh, hey, it's her. Well, it, it's it gives the, uh, me a girl vibe. Summoner. Mm -hmm. This game's version of the Archvile. Ah. But like, so I know that Zelda's timeline is non-linear, but what other games are? Pikmin now, thanks to Pikmin 4. Oh, right, they rebooted it. Mm-hmm, which was, I think, a mistake. It just all feels. I, mean, I guess. I guess they're. I guess they're running out of like things that, uh, of excuses to get Olimar back on the planet again. I guess, but why did he even go back in three? I think it was just for more treasure. Mm hmm. And honestly, that would work. Like you could do that indefinitely. He's gone from a delivery boy to a. Um, well, space. Space Laura Croft, basically. He's a treasure hunter, yeah. Yeah. Or a non furry knuckles. Oh, what is this? It's the good gun. It's the super shotgun. 
The only gate, yeah, the only gun in the game that requires a reload. Yep, but it's For now. kind of a different reload. Yeah, once you get that, I was that holding onto my weapon. Oh points yeah. For this. Because once you get that double trouble and then the rune, this game becomes a joke if you're good enough. Yeah, yeah, it kind of does. And I love so, it. So just for the this first time that you get the gun, it's got it's splattered with blood. Oh, um, and after this, that. it gets cleaned off and never it's not blood splattered anymore. Uh, I never really noticed that detail. But yeah, Star also, Fox this is not the same super shotgun as mm. in uh, Doom Eternal. Oh, I'll have to I'll have to see that when I get to it. But yeah, other games from Nintendo that aren't linear. Pokemon's technically not. Um, there's Star Fox is all messed up. Whoop. Wow, oh, he actually made it up. Well, it here. seems like it's mostly just that Nintendo franchises have been around long enough that they like to reboot them and have yeah. been through so many iterations where it's like, let's try this, let's go with that. Yeah, I Whereas agree. Kingdom Hearts, the story is one of the main reasons why it exists. So right. to reboot it is like, well, what, what's even the point anymore? Right. And luckily, Metroid, even though they attempted to split the timeline, failed miserably. Because they other to M, split the timeline? Well, Other M was like... So, you know how Other M was like, oh, Prime's not canon or anything? I guess that was a mistranslation. I, th I think... I, I, I'm not sure if they... I think they wanted to leave it ambiguous. Like, yeah. you know, it, maybe it happened, but if it didn't, it doesn't matter because it yeah. doesn't impact this at all, which is yeah. false. It totally does. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, Other M itself was explicitly set between Super and Fusion. Yeah. I'd like to think there could be a version. Hey, there's another guy. No upgrades for the super shotgun, sadly. Is Kirby considered like single continuity, uh, or is it all messed up now too? Boy, that honestly, I want to say I'm trying to think of how it could be. Um, unless you want to like say that Void Termina reincarnated into another Kirby in another timeline? I guess not. It's been pretty straightforward. Thank goodness. Um, Mario has an interesting problem. Is It's not the timeline that's a problem. It's, are these even in the same universe? Like Paper Mario or Mario RPG or yada yada. It's just all over the place. Yeah. Ah, but, so, you know. real quick here, on my original recording, I uh, popped this gore nest, and nothing happened. Really? No enemies came out. I, Did you get... I was... Were you soft I, I had to re-record it, I, uh, and I was really sad that I missed, that I lost that recording, had mm. to redo it, because I would have absolutely edited in a John Travolta meme. Oh, where he's, like, looking around, like, for nothing what happening? Was... <laughs> what isn't something supposed to happen here? Yeah, the lock on's pretty good. Although I think I like the three. It no, that's not what it is. It's there's the lock on, and then there's the guided missile. I sucked at the guided missile. No, there's there's lock on, and then there's remote detonate. Yeah. What am I thinking of? I don't know, because even in Eternal, the rocket launcher has the same mods. What's the other mod for the assault rifle? The uh, zoom scope. in? Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't think I ever got Which, that. It's it's not the most useful. It, I mean, you don't really need to be taking out things at that kind of long range, and it's mm -hmm. it's ah. slightly more powerful, but the, the assault rifle isn't even that good at mm -hmm. doing that role, especially late enough where you'd actually want it, in which case mm -hmm. you probably just have the Goss Cannon. Right. So, oh man, the Goss Cannon's so good. Um, so, because that Gordonass didn't spawn any enemies, were you just, like, stun-locked or soft-locked and had to keep going or reset, more or less? 
No, I th- I think if I had continued on, I don't think I finished that recording session. Mm. Uh, maybe I wouldn't have gotten all five of my uh, weapon points in the top right mm. there. But it's not. I don't think it unlocked anything. And if okay. so, this level is so open ended. I'm pretty sure I would have been able to get through anyway. Interesting. Oh wait, no. There. Okay, there's three filters that you do in any order, and then a final one. It's interesting. Isn't Argent Energy just like literal souls of the damned or something? Uh, we learn about the true nature of Argent Energy and Eternal. Okay, I've heard that, but I don't know much detail. Although, speaking of that, um, I, I wanted to just talk about lore in this series real quick, and namely how... I feel a little disconnected in the sense that it it feels like uh, these games aren't really um, lining up in their expanded lore very well. Mm -hmm. It feels like for 2016, they, they wrote the scenario and everything, and then they were like, had, gave a couple of writers uh, the task to just write a bunch of cool lore um, that expands this universe, and they did, and it's awesome. Hmm. I love it. And then in Eternal, they realize we're just going to throw all this out and reduce 2016 story to like Cliff's notes and then work off of that. Yeah, I'm I've heard some stuff and I'm extremely curious to see how that transition is handled because I mean, I don't think there are any like blatant plot holes or outright contradictions. It's just that the impressions you get from reading the lore in this game and what they, it seemed like they were going for, just doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's the same as what Eternal would go in. And then right. along comes uh, the DLCs, the story DLCs for Eternal, and those ones don't feel like they uh, fit in quite well with Eternal. So I think they just throw out all extended lore yeah, it, with each new story thing. It's it definitely, like... I'm like, wait, so Doom Guy is like magic or something? Like, it just gets weird, but I'll see it when we do it. I think they are just making it up as they go. I, I don't think that there was any plans, not even yeah. when they were starting Eternal. Which means it's going to be really gods. weird to see if they do make a third game, how they, what direction they go in. Yes, definitely. I will. I think I'll save that for when we cover Eternal and when mm -hmm. you've actually finished it. Right. But yeah, I. They, even if we assume that they didn't start their next project until like 2022, when Doom Eternal had really finished all of its main content, I would. Uh, they they they're working on something, and we just have no idea what it yeah. is. Man, the Berserk power-up is amazing. You can't get hurt with it, right? I think you can. Okay. You just don't, like, flinch or anything, it looks like. Yeah, because otherwise it would overlap with the invincibility power-up. Mm-hmm. Remember, the 12th Council of Nine is always watching you. The 12th Council of Nine. The 12th Council more of Nine. Okay. We're getting more and more culty stuff from these uh, corporate hologram mm -hmm. bulletin boards. Oh, Sam. If stopping our energy production is what you want, then you need only to destroy this last filter, mm -hmm. and Argent Energy will no longer exist in this solar system. We will be back at square one. I mean, you already developed the technology, so... Yeah, I've always wondered about that. It's like, what, what does he mean by that? Like, like probably... how far back are we yeah. being lost here? Yeah. Olivia is still alive. I've detected her life signature at the Argent Tower. She has removed one of the accumulators from the tower base. It has a 
unique energy signature that we can track. Whoa. Well, that's it then. There's nothing else to be done. Still Don't say what you will about Hayden. He does not cry over spilled milk. Nah. That's still a better selection than my workplace vending machine. All right. All right. We're going to hunt down Olivia Pierce next time.